Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to update you on what's going on with these upcoming storms because they're showing stronger and stronger. And that's just up to New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We have an even bigger and stronger system coming right after that. And all these big storms you see happening right here on the West Coast, this is HRRR only for the next 48 hours. This is only the beginning of it. So I'm going to show you all the new information I have for you this morning. Please share this information. Let people know what is coming around the corner because it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger, guys. And you can see the pattern here with the latest Euro run. You get this big, strong system coming through the Northwest that's bringing all them storms that I just showed you on HRRR and it's bringing a lot of high winds still. I'm showing even higher winds than what we had yesterday. Then it will go all down California, but in a few days, this is where the setup is going to be. Not only is it going to be rough for the West Coast the whole time, you're going to get a lot of rainfall and high winds. But literally, by the time you go to New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, we're going to have this storm build up in the south while the surface low goes to the upper Midwest. All the severe weather will be in the south. And it does go for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day for the southeast and goes up to the northeast while we get these storms coming on the west coast as well. Now this is already five and six days away. Information will change. I will update you as we get closer, but I'm already showing severe weather threats for those systems, and those are not the strong systems. The strongest system comes later, right around the 3rd and the 4th of January. A big system coming through, bringing a lot of chances for severe weather. Damage and winds, chances for tornadoes, all factors are going to be in play on this storm. This is going to be a big storm right after New Year's. So real quick, let's get to today's winner so we can get through the forecast. So I can update you on this information. If you've never been here before, I give away these weather stations. They're very nice. And they tie you into all these other stations all across the country. So you can see the information that they give you. You get every piece of information you can think of right in your own backyard. So you can see what's going on with your severe weather around your house. Now you must be a subscriber and hit the like button so you can be qualified for what's going on. Now let's get to today's winner and get our comments and see who's winning today. And today's winner is Jean Brazel. God bless you, Jean. I apologize if I chopped up your name, Jeanne Brazel. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. Radar, you can't be no simpler than that. Make sure you put radar in the comments. That way you can win for tomorrow for tomorrow's giveaway. Congratulations, Jan. God bless you, ma'am. You are the winner of today. Make sure you contact me at this email, Kids Gaming Today. That way I can get your address, ship this to you. I need your phone number as well. That way you can track live tracking on your package. Thank you again for your support on my channel, and I hope you do love it. So for the next three days, this is from National Weather Service for today. You have all this rain on the West Coast that will be happening for quite some time. You have thunderstorms and all this red mixed precipitation, freezing rain, and heavy snow for Washington. While you do get some snow for the Ohio Valley, a very little bit. And you even get some mixed precipitation across the south. Even chances for Atlanta to get some mixed precipitation or a little bit of snowfall for today. For tomorrow, you're going to have this chance for this freezing rain all across the northern tier right on the Canadian border. A lot of mixed precipitation, still a lot of heavy rain on the west coast. But now your storm is going all the way down California, all the way down towards Los Angeles. And this will keep going forward, guys. As you go through Wednesday, you're going to continue getting rain on the west coast. A lot of mixed precipitation, a lot of heavy snow, a lot of things going on on the west coast. You even have a chance for three to four feet of snowpack for the higher elevations for California. That will help with y'all drought and the water conditions. So that is actually a good thing. Why these storms start building up on Wednesday? Then it's going to start being severe as we go along. Now, when you check with National Weather Service to see what the rainfall amounts through these storms for the next two and a half days, look how much rainfall adds up just for the next two and a half days. Anywhere from two inches to five to seven inches of precipitation of rainfall that is coming. And that's just the next two and a half days. This is going to continue to come. National Weather Service also sees a lot of high winds. Yesterday, it showed 115 miles per hour wind gusts, and we take that with a grain of salt until it starts trending and we get closer. 
But now as we're getting closer, we can see a lot of high winds coming with this system. Just until tonight, until the morning, you do have a chance for over 100 miles per hour wind gusts for Oregon, higher elevations of California, but it keeps its strength. It's a very strong system coming, and as you keep on going, just the next two and a half days, you get a lot of high winds for Wyoming as well, higher elevations. But now when you look for Oregon, higher elevations of California as well, now it's showing 130 miles per hour wind gusts. So let's take it with a grain of salt, 130. That's pretty extreme, even though it's National Weather Service model. Let's take it as a lot of chances of some very high winds coming in this direction. But it shows that these high winds will be around for the West Coast, for Oregon, California, also for Nevada. A lot of high winds coming with the system before it even comes to the central U.S. And even HRRR is showing over 100 miles per hour wind gusts as well for portions of Washington, Oregon, even Montana, even over for Wyoming. All these higher elevations are going to see a lot of high winds. HRRR sees it. National Weather Service model sees it. Please be aware there's a lot of high winds, at least 100 miles per hour wind gusts, especially the higher elevations. Not to mention all this orange is all the 50s, all this red is the 60s, and all this brown that you see everywhere is all 70s or above. Not to mention a lot of major snowfall, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, even New Mexico, California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, even Wyoming, and getting heavy through the Dakotas as it goes through northern Minnesota. Just the next four and a half days. Also on the south side of this system, you get the snowfall on the northern side. On the south side, it's showing potential chances for winds getting up to 40, 50, even portions of 60 and 70 higher elevations of New Mexico, even for Colorado. But a lot of chances of high 40s to 50s coming with the first system. That is not even the beginning of our severe weather. This is literally within four days. Right after the four days is when everything's going to start intensifying. But you still have the severe weather threat. So you do have flash flooding. So for today, you do have marginal all the way from Washington, Oregon. Getting slight risk for southern Oregon as you go towards northern California. Slight risk for flash flooding. That's just for today. For tomorrow, this is going to move further down California. And now you're in a slight risk all the way down California and it's going to keep on growing guys as you go through Wednesday as we move through Arizona New Mexico even Arizona even Phoenix Tucson all y'all gonna be in the marginal come Wednesday for flash flooding as this transitions to the central of the U.S. as you go through Thursday you have more slight risk for southern Oregon northern California you're already soaked any rainfall will automatically put you in a flash flooding stage. Why well, are you starting to get flash flooding going all the way from Houston all the way into Arkansas? And this is for Thursday. Then as you go through Friday, it's gonna grow even more. You have more slight risk all the way from Southern Oregon all the way down California again. And you have it in the South. And this is starting to build. It's going into Northern Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, even a panhandle of Florida get into a slight risk for flash flooding. And this is only the beginning. We still have the next one after this that's showing even more strength, guys. So the next five days, all the way up to New Year's Eve, when we start getting our first group of severe weather in the south, this is your rainfall amount. And look at the west coast. Just unbelievable amount of heavy rainfall. It's going to help you drought, but it is going to be a lot of flash flooding. Then as we go through that, and the next system that comes through that's even stronger a lot of rainfall is adding up. Chances for a lot of flash flooding all the way up to Ohio Valley. Not to mention what's all going to add up for the West Coast. A lot of flooding. Still showing chances for flash flooding all the way from Washington all the way down California with it being a real heavy, especially when it gets towards Sacramento over here by California, San Francisco. That's the heaviest part of your flash flooding through the next eight days. Plus, I'm still showing not only the big hot spot that I showed you of this heavy rainfall coming, you're still in a slight risk for flash flooding and all of this light green all the way up to the Ohio Valley, all the way to the Mid-Atlantic. And this is only the beginning, guys. We have another system after that. And the winds are starting to show a lot more strength as well. So when you look at your 850 millibars, your lower levels, see what's going on with these storms. You can see on the West Coast, that it picks up a lot of high winds coming in with that system. Remember, HRRR and National Weather Service is showing 100 miles per hour wind gusts plus. Then after that, it goes down California, and look at the high winds that kick in 
as it goes down California. This is for the next 36 to 48 hours. Then the system comes across the central U.S., where I'll show you have the chance for the 50 miles per hour wind gust. That's pretty much what you see in the brown. It's a 50 miles per hour wind gust that comes with that first system within the next three days. And then we get the next system. And now we're moving towards New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. This builds up in the center of the U.S. and it goes to the southeast. And you can see I don't bring a lot of chances for winds. But this little bit of winds, as you get on southwest as well, is going to start showing some severe weather aspects. This is six days away, seven days away, going up to the northeast. Then the one right behind that is showing the strongest one, chances for very high winds. And definitely a good chance for severe weather. Could be an outbreak. I will update you as we get closer, but it's showing more and more intensity. And you can see how much stronger the system is on the one coming right after New Year's. Literally on the 2nd, and on the third, a very strong system going up to the upper Midwest and bringing storms all across the eastern side of the U.S. We could even have a squall line that we need to prepare for in the coming days. A big nasty squall line that could appear all the way from Ohio Valley all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. I will keep you updated. So literally in four days, this is where our severe weather from the first set of systems that comes from the West Coast, very strong comes to the center of the U.S. This is not the big one after New Year's. This is the first one. We start building up already a chance for severe weather, a chance for wind, a chance for hail, no chances for tornadoes yet. But in five days, this is where the severe weather starts stretching out a little more towards the south. You have chances for wind also. You have chances for hail. There's going to be a lot of lightning strikes. There's going to be some storms, but you don't have the chances for the tornadoes just yet. But once you go six days out, this is where it really grows, guys, to the south and the southeast. Even your wind chances are getting stronger, especially from Mississippi and Alabama. Also, your chances for hail. These lightning strikes have a lot of white in them, which is indicative to a lot of lightning strikes. And there's going to be chances for hail. But the one after this is bringing real chances for large hail. But this is where your tornado threat is going to come into play as you go five to six days away. Starting to build a confidence for Louisiana and southern Mississippi for chances for tornadoes. So there is a big severe weather aspect coming, and it is coming in a few days, guys. And I will update you as we get closer. Because as you look at your 500 millibar vorticity, you can see that strong system coming to the northwest, bringing those potential very high winds. But once it starts coming to the south and the southeast, it's going to bring those storms literally in four to five days. But all your lift, all your cape, all your strong dew points is going to remain in the south, the southeast, and along the mid-Atlantic. But that is going to be a strong system. But the one coming right after that is showing even more strength, strengthening up in the deep south as it moves along. A very strong chance to get some very good chances for tornadoes. Very high winds that's coming with that. That's the ones I showed you with that white on the wind shear as it moves through. And after that, we have another one and another one. This is going to be the continued pattern that we're going to be in all the way to the middle of January. And you can see how the storms start to build up. So on the 29th, you get storms in the south. On the 30th, they go all the way to the Ohio Valley. On New Year's Eve, it goes to the southeast mid-Atlantic, and then northeast for New Year's Day. That's still the same. But right after that, you have that strong system coming all the way from the south, the center of the U.S. by the second. By the third, it is going to grow. It is showing a lot more strength than in previous runs. Look at that shot on the third. Storms all the way from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to Ohio Valley. Very strong system coming. So we have multiple systems coming. The first one showing good chances for severe weather already. But the one right after that on the second and third shows great chances for extreme severe weather, guys. Good chances for tornadoes, high winds. All factors are in play on that system. But for that first set coming for 29th all the way to the first of New Year's, you can see you are getting a lot of lightning strikes. Chances for hail in that purple. That's a lot of lightning strikes. And it does stay in the south and then the southeast as you go through the 30th, New Year's Eve, and then New Year's Day. You can see the storms aren't going to the northeast with the lightning strikes. So all the severe weather will be in the south and the southeast. 
But that next one, it is showing so much strength. But look at all the storms that's coming with that system right behind that. From the second to the third, even chances for large hail. All that white is a lot of lightning strikes, which is indicative to chances for large hail. As you go through the second and through the third, a big strong chance for a lot of severe weather, especially in the south. Now we'll update you, of course, as we get closer and get better information. Right now, it looks like it's a dangerous situation for the west coast. The precipitation is a good thing, but with these high winds, that just makes it a dangerous situation. So make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. I do upload every single day, not just once every few days. So make sure you stay updated with what's going on with these systems. I will keep you all the latest information that I do find for you. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. God bless every single one of you. Please share this information. Please let others know what is coming their way before they get notified and have one or two days to prepare for it. That's not enough time. Psalm 71, 1 through 5. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Lord God. Thou art my trust from my youth. Amen. Have a very great and a very blessed Monday, everybody. Whether you're going to school, on vacation, or going to work, I wish the best day for you. Remember, think positive, and positive results always happen. I'm a true believer of that. All glory <laughs> does go to Yahweh, our Father in heaven, our God. And may he protect every single one of you as we go into our next severe weather event. Forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great day, everybody.